Alrighty, so probably the worst part of getting a tattoo is, unfortunately, the pain and it hurts bad. Sometimes it hurts really bad, sometimes it doesn't hurt that bad, but people are always looking for ways to alleviate that pain. And they're asking me, hey, do you know any products I could use to numb my tattoos? I usually recommend something with lidocaine in it. Now, lidocaine is the number one ingredient used as a topical anesthetic to numb your tattoo pain. Now, lidocaine has been proven very safe. It's used in first aid, it's used in the hospital, it's used for tattoos. So there's a lot of different products containing lidocaine. There's sprays, there's foams, there's a million different tattoo branded products that contain lidocaine. So these sprays and these foams and these tattoo company aftercare lidocaine numbing products, a lot of them are used during the tattoo. So that means they're only gonna work when the skin is broken and you can actually spray some of that stuff on there and it gets soaked into the skin and it'll start to actually numb and alleviate the area for a little while. The downside to this is it's very temporary, it's very fleeting, it could only last from 5 to 10 minutes, so often the tattoo artist keeps reapplying it, reapplying it. So when I first started there was this stuff called Bactine that all the tattoo artists use. Bactine is pretty popular, you can find it at Walmart, you can find it at CVS, Walgreens, anything like that. It's found in the first aid section. It is a spray, it has a little green top. It's called Bactine. And this was one of the first lidocaine sprays that tattoo artists were really using to numb the pain during the process. The best time to use this spray on lidocaine would be halfway through your tattoo session or near the end when you're just applying the white. And this is because it only works when the skin is actually broken and that stuff could soak in and numb your tattoo up. One of the things that I learned about lidocaine sprays and lidocaine in general is that green soap, the solution used to clean the area, often negates the effect of the lidocaine. So you could be spraying on a bunch of lidocaine, you could be doing a lot of foam, uh, you're just piling it on there. And then you go and use your green soap and you wipe right over that area and it has a chemical reaction that actually negates the effect of the numbing from the lidocaine. So sometimes it'll work, but sometimes you'll be using it and your client's like, well, didn't work. Well, that didn't work. And if you're confused by this, the phenomenon is often caused by the green soap canceling out the effects of the lidocaine. There's actually a company, H2 Ocean, that makes a blue green foam soap, some kind of foam soap that doesn't contain the same ingredient as the green soap that can be used really well with the lidocaine sprays. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. You could use peppermint soaps, the Dr. Bronner's, even if you're just using a dry paper towel or distilled water, even at the beginnings while you're using the lidocaine, just to make sure that the effect stays a little bit longer and helps the client with their pain. So there's a product called Vasicane, and I used to use it. I don't anymore. I've had bad results with it. It has numbed the shit out of some of my tattoos people be raving about Vasicane. But I have a mega beef with Vasicane, and it is a vasoconstrictor mixed with lidocaine. So that means it's actually constricting your blood vessels and affecting the blood flow in or around the area that is being tattooed. So in other words, that could take your beautiful color tattoo and make it a bloody red mess or it could take your black and gray tattoo and make that a gross, swollen, red mess. So I've had a couple of horror stories with this stuff called Vasicane, and believe me, it numbs the shit out of your tattoo. 
if that's all you're after then great but I don't use it anymore because I've had some bad reactions to tattoos while I've used it and it kind of scared me away from this stuff so if anyone is using Vasicane or if anyone requests Vasicane I just don't use it anymore so I got a black and gray tattoo one time sprayed some Vasicane on it it stayed bloody red for two days straight and it kept bleeding and bleeding uh, one time I used some Vasicane on a nice color cartoon tattoo on a client and I sprayed it on and it just kept swelling and swelling and it started looking like the tattoo was actually stained by some darker ink but I didn't use any darker ink it was actually the Vasicane just making the skin so red and bloody that the tattoo just looked terrible I felt terrible I mean it numbed the tattoo but it just did not look good afterwards and after that I just stayed away from the stuff once I've had one or two bad experiences with a product or a service or something I just stay far away from it there's a different type of lidocaine that can be used for tattooing and it is in the form of a cream that you put on about an hour or two before your tattoo appointment so this stuff usually has a great result for about 20 minutes 30 minutes and then after that it's kind of short-lived and it fades away sometimes I'll switch to the sprays or the foams afterwards but I just feel like there's no way to completely eliminate the pain of a tattoo no matter what it's gonna hurt these products help but there's no surefire way to come in and walk out of that tattoo appointment without experiencing some type of pain. There's a couple of cool pre-tattoo lidocaine creams that you could buy off Amazon. There's a couple of brands that really stick in my head that I've had a couple of clients use and they've been successful. So I stick by them. And the first brand is Dr. Numb. Yes, I said it, Dr. Numb, the doctor of numb. The second one is Uber Numb. Uber Numb. And the third one that I'm gonna recommend is Hush. That's like a big fancy tattoo industry brand. Hush, I guess because you're not yelling because it hurts, I guess. But yeah, those three, you're gonna wanna put on about an hour or two before your appointment and cover it in plastic wrap and you're just gonna put the cream on obviously nice clean hands get the plastic wrap cover it tape it up show up to your appointment about an hour later and then I'm gonna take it off for you clean it with a dry paper towel because the green soap will cancel it out and start tattooing and then I usually take a little bit of the product and put it on my tattoo area and actually tattoo with some of that stuff just to kind of keep the numbing going and going. Well, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something. I love getting to share my craft with everybody. Make sure you leave me with a comment. I love feedback. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Tell your friends about it. Hit me up if you're interested in getting a tattoo. Go out, live your best life. Don't let anyone hold you back. Love one another, think positive. Your brain is a powerhouse. Don't squander it. Thank you for watching. Peace. Can I numb my tattoo? Will it hurt if I get a tattoo? Hey, do you have anything that will numb it? Do you have anything that I can numb my tattoo with? So, can we numb my tattoo? So I wish there was a way that we could just press a button and the tattoos don't hurt no more. It's like a switch on the machine. Press it and turn the paint off and apply it. One time someone asked me if uh, anesthesiology comes into play at all, ever. And I'm just like, dude, it's gonna cost like 
an extra hundred grand on top of your tattoo appointment, I think it would just be easier to just take the pain. I thought part of a tattoo was the thrill of the pain, of the rush. I mean, I guess if you get a bunch of tattoos, you're used to it, you're kind of over it. So you're just doing whatever it takes to get rid of it. 